forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Welcome, child. How long has it been since your last confession? It has been four days. Well, I've never seen you around these parts before. I'm, uh, I'm new here. Well, what do you say we get on to those confessions? The light, I've thought it pure of thoughts, I've, uh, even had a beer on my 27th birthday. Well, I may or may not have stuck a piece of gum under my desk when I was a boy. <laughs> well, uh, I felt really bad about everything I've done lately, so I, uh, Stopped by a Goodwill, dropped off half of my clothes, and worked seven hours at a soup kitchen. Well, I think that's a pretty good start right there. I just feel so bad. I served so many grilled cheese sandwiches. Pardon me? I didn't unwrap a single slice of cheese. I worked there for seven hours and no one said a thing. Those homeless people ate them, wrapper and all. I even ran out of bread and butter at one point and started using sponges and toothpaste. Oh, well, happens to the best of us. It's not all. I sent letters to everyone I've feuded with recently. Well, I think it's good that you're trying to bury the old hatcherino. I filled them all with glitter. I'm, I'm sure they're still cleaning it all up. I've also sort of developed this nasty subconscious habit of sticking gum under tables, too. I just did it again, didn't I? Yep. You did. Well, friend, it sounds like you've been having a lot of trouble lately. Let's hear the rest of your sins. Oh, my friend asked me to uh, record the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade for him, and I, um, I didn't, I totally forgot about it. When I was a boy, I was making some popcorn for my mother, and I accidentally burnt it. That's probably why she beat me as much as she did. I was watching, um, The Good Wife, um, now, uh, the friend asked me to, when I was over at his house, he asked me to, um, uh, pass him down while we were watching TV, and I was reading a book, and I waited until the end of the sentence to give it to him. You know, they say you can't only eat one lace, but I did a gym, but I do it all the time, and I just don't... Enough! We don't stall any longer. Tell me your greatest sins. Oh, a while back, I was just wandering aimlessly. I was all alone. No money, no family. Nothing, just one finite speck in a cosmically indifferent universe. And as I sat on a curve, I saw a shooting star. I didn't wish for much, not even my family. I doubt they'd want me anyway. Just, just a job. A few weeks later, the city gave me one. I was to demolish an old abandoned orphanage after they had built the replacement. So, with a new determination, I set each explosive with care. As I pulled the trigger, I felt a fresh start. Not for them, though. Wrong orphanage. Well, will you excuse me for a moment? Yeah, we have a uh, code glory B. All right, what seems to be the problem here? I'm just giving my confession, Father. I feel like we need a new perspective here. Okay. Well, I feel like as a community of faith, we focus a bit too much on the negative. What's something positive that has happened to you this week? Isn't the point of confession to talk about what you've done wrong and ask me how to fix it? Are you suggesting we shame people into salvation? Continue. Well, I guess some you know, positive things I have. I saw Bruce Jenner on the street last week. Her name is Caitlin, and this is 2017 now, bro. See, Father, it's as if I can't stop myself from sinning, even with my words. You see, friend Arino? If you don't change your ways, you'll end up burning in the eternal fire. So, I absolve you of your sins. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Time to change my life. To Father for making all the difference.